and it's not like I'm going to be doing anything interesting like B&M and Tesco. Like, part of me just don't want to go to B&M or Tesco because parents seem to be taking the kids out shopping to the supermarket um, half term. Every time, every shop I've gone to this week, there's been a lot of kids, and I'm like, why are you not taking your kids out somewhere else or doing something with your kids? Don't take your kids to the shop for an hour, that's like a bit unfair for you, eh? So, yeah. And I have to buy tea for tomorrow because I didn't buy five meals. There's a part of me that's tempted to go to MS tomorrow just to get some food for the weekend. Now that is an idea. I'm trying to decide when to do it though. I think I may go to m and I don't know if I should go to m and mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. I can hear the camera clicking. It's like trying to focus constantly. That's what it is. Let's listen. Is that clicking as annoying to you as it is to me listening to it whilst I talk? I need to build, like I bought a new TV stand there, like early December or like November, and it's still in its box. Maybe try and do that this weekend as well, it's not going to get done tomorrow. Like, I'm giving myself stuff to do, but it's too much. And it's too much for several reasons. One, my physical health is at 50%, and even though I don't feel ill, ill, I'm not well. And I'm tired, my, I get tired easier. The second reason is I'm depressed. When you're depressed, you don't want to do anything. And again, you have no energy because you're down. Thirdly... I'm giving myself lots of other things to do, but I really want to make that. But at the same time, I want to keep the TV stand that I've got. But at the same time, I want a white one. Sad to laugh. But my priority is finishing the painting, getting a new coat hanger stand thing up, and key stand, key holder, because the natural wood colour and they're not going to go with the blue wall. So finishing out there is my priority this weekend. And then I need to like finish my bathroom. There's like little tiny bits, only tiny bits, and the kitchen. Not the kitchen, the downstairs toilet. So I think the painting is my priority this weekend. I'm constantly having a mini clear out. I keep finding things I'm like bim 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 bim. I don't even know what else to say. Like I'm trying to sort my life out. I'm trying to keep busy. But I'm constantly tired. And this blog, vlog is priority, and my blog as well. I'm not going to give my blog details out here because it just, it's like two different worlds for me. Like, I want to keep things separate. Like, if I tell people on here about my blog, they potentially find out things about me that I don't let on here. And I don't even go into much detail on my blog. Like, I used to be a lot more open on my blog about my life and depression and stuff. And I've not done anything about depression on there for a long time because I just don't have the mental energy to do that. But in March, there's some posts scheduled, like I've talked about them, and they're going to go up and then maybe in April talk more about depression. And I just want to try and help people like understand it and also that if they're going through similar things, like learn from me, like I'm the best person to learn from because. I don't ask for help. <laughs> I don't talk about much. When I try and talk about things, I tell 20% of what's gone on. I stop myself. I don't know why. I'll probably never work out why I do that, but I do. I've got my um, other heater turned on here as well. I need to turn it off. I am pretty tired. I might struggle with tiredness. 
but these leggings are really nice. Um, oh god, I've got a handprint that must have been dusty, so I just gave myself a handprint. God, I'm so interested now, now. See, I'm making vlogs all by myself. My bi-weekly vlogs are like 15 minutes long. They will have to be 15 to 20 if there's like a wrong clip like this is. 20 minutes long. This is probably going to be a vlog within itself. And I've just seen the batteries flashing. So I'm going to end this here. This is obviously going to be a, a one vlog. <laughs> Remember the good old days when I used to sit for 20 minutes and like just film like a long clip. That's what this is right now, but I've got to go, I've got to get to bed, I feel really sick. <sighs> do you know what I want to do if I had the money? I want to go see Jennifer Saunders in that play that she's in. What's it called? Is it some... Oh god, I can't remember what it's called. And it's in London and, and I really want to go. Like, I would want to go to like a... Is it a matinee performance, the afternoon one? Like, drive down in the morning, get there, see that, maybe go out for something to eat and then drive back in the evening. And I know that's a long day. But that's what I would want to do, if I could. Um, obviously not by myself, like, I think if it weren't London, like if it was Devon, I would do that. As crazy as that sounds, I would do it. Um, but yeah. I'm going to have to go. I'm tired and I would just ramble on forever, so... I'm walking over here because this is where I keep my battery charger. I'll show you quickly. Uh, and that's my panic alarm box. That's the home one. Just in case you're wondering. And this is where I keep my charger. I put my battery in there and then I put my camera right next to it. So, thank you for watching. I hope you got something from this vlog. God knows what because who knows what I'm going on about. I'm tired, I'm stressed, and I'm considering suicide more and more. <laughs> There's me and my honesty, but I am. I don't want to live, I'm not happy. And that's it, really. I'm out the house with my camera, and I feel ill today. I'm full of a cold. I didn't think I was going to get a cold. Um, I've only just got here. And it was packed. Um, last night I felt like a bit snuffly and sn like not even sneezing. Just felt like I don't know. I get a little bit snotty now and then when I'm overtired. So I thought oh, it was that. Eventually went to bed and I woke up full of a cold. Two hours later, then I was up for two hours and I went back to sleep. And I set my alarm for 12:30. Woke up at 12. I feel like crap. I've had no tablets or anything since whatever five six this morning. Like, I can't even believe I'm even filming the amount of people that are around. So I'm going to go to Tesco, I want to go B&M, and then I've got to go to work. Because I didn't finish my work yesterday. So, I'm going to go in the shop now, and I don't know, there's, there's so many people here. Like, I can't believe how many people are here. I don't know if I've said the date, but it's the 16th. Friday the 16th of... Is it Friday the 16th? Yeah. So I'm going to go and do my shopping. I've not got much makeup on. I couldn't be bothered. I don't look too bad, but when I'm ill I can't be bothered. Oh my god. I think the person who's just parked behind me is someone who I used to work with. Is it? I hope not because it'll get reported back that I've been seen and she might not be very nice to me either because lies have been made up about me. Oh no it isn't, thank god. So I'm going to go in and I know what I want. 
making meatballs when I'm like got fluey type cold flu I like meatballs with all the garlic because I always like to think that it helps don't know if it does but that's what I'm going to make tonight my head's pounding I'm hot but I'm cold and I feel super ill and I've got to go in because I've got to go to work because I didn't finish it yesterday so I'm on another car park b and I've done Tesco god it was so full like it's half term so it must be like hey kids let's go for a day out to the shops um, b and was just as bad I didn't get the floor tiles I meant to be like getting four tiles because I need another three packs and I just checked and there's a load in there so I think it's a continuous colour because the one that I wanted for my bathroom there's only one pack and there's still only one pack so I don't think I'm going to be able to get the ones I want for my bathroom so I'm just going to have to think of something else for my bathroom but I want to do the kitchen in the stone ones that I keep seeing and do you know what? I've not even mentioned it in a bi-weekly vlog. <laughs> it's in daily vlogs. So this is going to get confusing. I've been buying these four tiles for the kitchen and the black stone. Well, they look like black stone. They're not real black stone. And I've got three packs and I need six. So I came to b and to get the rest. But I wanted other stuff from b and And I've picked that up today instead. And I didn't want to spend more than a certain amount today anyway. And I've spent less than what I planned. But I've got a toilet roll holder for the wall for the downstairs toilet because the one that was on I didn't like and I said it's not going back on so I bought a nicer one, same style but it's nicer. And then I've bought a coat thing for the wall, do you know the long ones with the hooks on. Obviously I have one but I took it down because I'm painting out there which you won't know again because that's in the daily vlogs. Because um, the walls are blue and it's a natural wood one that was up, I'm not putting that one back up so I picked up a white one which I think's longer and then I got a key one with the key hooks on because again that was a natural wood colour and the wall's blue so I've gone for white and I want to go because like there's people coming and going anyway and I'm sat here talking to myself so I'm going to go to work I told my dog, dog, not my dad I'll be home for four, it's ten to three so I need to get to work not that she could tell the time or know what I'm saying but you know I'd like to be on for four because I don't feel well. I got some cold and flu capsules from the chemist, so I'm going to take them at work as well. So now I'm at work, and it's like 20 past, or just after 20 past three, nearly 25 past actually. And I want to go, but I've only just started work, even though I've been here since three. There was an incident. Like, where I work, there's a car park which I don't park on and there's reasons for that. And then there's the road outside the building. And I park normally on the road. And the way the road's set up is one side of the road, halfway up, you park on one side and the other side, you park on the other side. So this side of the road, for the full length of this building, it's a, a really long building, you park on this side of the road and then just after the alleyway that separates, you park on the other side of the road so I cut through the alleyway during the separation normally I go down to the bottom alleyway and come up that way if I'm coming from where I came from if I'm coming from home I come a different route and come up this street from the bottom so I came through the alleyway at the top and then reversed down to the park and I was parked almost opposite someone because someone had parked opposite where you don't park it's just like an unwritten rule no one ever parked there and I thought, oh well, they're going to come out in a minute because normally someone just dumps the car there. God, that printer's quiet. He's changed his printers. Um, I actually bought him that and he's been using a different one. But he's had that one fixed. Or has he had it fixed? I don't know what's going on. So I got out, got my sandwich, my drink and my medication because I got some, what they called, day nurse. And then someone came out the building and got in the car behind me and a car came up the hill so the car that came up the hill was stuck behind the car that was parked almost opposite where I'd parked and they couldn't get through so I walked in the building and then people start beeping the horn and I came through the first door that's got like a keypad on it and um, shut it behind me because people keep leaving it unlocked or open and it's not safe it's just 
the lazy idiots in office one and two and I shut it and as I shut it someone came in the office building to that which leads to that door and started pounding on the door and I thought oh god I'm not dealing with this it's obviously someone looking for whoever's dumped that car but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's been dumped by someone who's coming here because opposite this building is a row of houses so it could have potentially been someone in one of those houses so they were trying to get in obviously didn't have the keypad code because it was it was probably the person who had driven up behind it from the bottom of the road rather than those that had just come out and parked got in the car behind me so I thought oh god they're going to try and get me to move my car and I thought there's absolutely no chance I'm moving my car because the only possible place would be the car park which I'm not going to park on willingly and also lately it's been full and secondly I would then have two options of what to do either go to the top come round and go and wait at the traffic lights that take five minutes to change or go and try and cut through the alleyway that I just cut through which I probably wouldn't be able to do again or go to the one at the bottom but the last few times I've come to the one at the bottom and the reason why I went through the top one the last few times is someone keeps parking in the alleyway at the bottom so that's why so I just went and hid in the toilets basically which is amusing to some people and as I was stood in the toilet taking my tablets I know I'm so classy because I've not had any kind of pain relief or anything today and I'm full of a cold I feel really crappy so I stood in there I even ate my sandwich just like not in the actual toilet bit but I ate my sandwich in there as well and then I thought after about 10 minutes because it's freezing down there I literally thought I'm just going to go back up and just see what's going on because if it's still going on I'm just going to have to move my car just to stop some hassle and like I've been gone 10 minutes I thought oh god if they whoever's dumped the car there has not moved it whoever's waiting ain't gonna be very happy are they so I slowly walked along the corridor like listening out to see if there's any kind of arguing or anyone banging on any office doors and there wasn't and the toilet is like the opposite side of the building it's like the other end like you could go out the end but I was tempted to go out the end and walk around but it would have took me about 10 minutes and I'm absolutely exhausted anyway because I'm ill. That's an idiot from Office One. I'm pretty sure they've all got some kind of learning disability because of how they act. They're just, I don't know. So I eventually like, got to the front the door that leads to the front door and someone had left it open yet again talk about unsafe around here no wonder I don't want to be here and then um, they skip believe it or not they skip um, and then picked up my post because there was some post for this office out there and then I kind of I opened the front door slowly and I could see that car wasn't parked there and I thought, should I go home? And the reason I had to go to my car as well, because when I came in, I forgot my office keys. <laughs> so that's another reason I hid in the toilet, because I thought, I can't go out, because if I go out there, they're going to get me to move my car. Then I potentially could take, like, five, six, seven minutes to get back round. So, they've gone. I'm in the office. Oh, my God. You're not going to see me for a minute, but I'll carry on talking. I'm trying to sign in and something. I'm not really impressed about being here, but obviously I've got to finish my job. When I was in the toilet, I was tempted to just, like, say I'll do it tomorrow. But what is if I feel worse tomorrow?